In this video we're going to take a look at the feature which allows you to automatically create either a new incident or a service request at any point in your business process. It's sometimes required to delegate work to another team or individual and for that work to have a process all of its own. In that scenario we want to ensure that we can both automate the creation, the routing and workflow requirements of a linked request. Take an example where we have a new starter process and we need to involve our colleagues in the facilities team. We may need to get them to check and organise any relevant security passes uh, or to issue any car park permits or even to allocate the physical desk and chairs which the new starter will need. We could create a number of tasks for each of these actions on the originating request or we could create a linked request which facilities manage and use to follow all their aspects of the new starter process. We can leverage other features such as the update linked request or the resolve linked request business process options to ensure the actions performed on the facilities ticket are kept updated on the originating request. We can use the business process designer to make key decisions regarding the attributes of the automatically created incident or service request. We can decide what, if any, of the originating request parameters we want the new request to inherit, maybe the customer or the priority, or even the service and catalogue item. Or do we want the new request or instant to follow a completely different workflow, which is linked to a different service and catalogue item. All these options are available. In this worked example, we reach a point in our new starter process where we complete a task which then triggers the creation of the service request for the facilities team. We can see the new request in the link request section of the original request and we can also see this referenced in the timeline.